local government you never do it. What? What can I do? Name, sir. Uh, Cody Knotts. Uh, spell your first and last. C-O-D-Y-K-N-O-T-T-S. Hey, uh, tell me about today, if you can. Okay, we are out here promoting our film, uh, Kecksburg, which is based on the 1965 UFO incident. Our premiere is in 47 days on September 12th in Uniontown at State Theater. What can you say about the movie? What, what is the premise? <laughs> well, it's based on the life of reporter John Murphy, who died in an unexplained uh, hit and run. Actually, two men died that were both hit and run that wouldn't let go of the story. And so we follow a reporter. I used to be a reporter uh, who gives his life for a story, the, the, the truth, whatever the truth might be. Uh, and we were really blessed. Our Scott Cooper, who's a South African actor based in L.A., plays John Murphy. And we follow some of the people in his life that become part of that story that night. So what is the website for the movie? It is Kecksburg UFO Movie. And dot com, sorry. Kecksburg UFO uh, Movie dot com. Okay, thank you. Cruzel. Okay, it's better last name, Adam. K-R-O-Z-E-L. And you are the what? Uh, fire Chief for Kecksburg Volunteer Fire Department. Tell me about today, if you can. Uh, today is one of our community events that we hold based on the uh, UFO that landed in uh, the town of Kecksburg here. Uh, we try to capitalize off a little bit to promote some money to our fire department as far as fundraising and events like that. People around here believe, don't they? Uh, there's mixed emotions around here. Some people do and some people don't. I mean, when I joined the fire department years ago, that uh, you know, there was mixed feelings over it that, you know, it was a yes it landed, yes it no that it did not land. Well, you're going to have speculators or people that don't know, don't have no idea what's going on. That was many years ago. Yes. Um, so what's today? What, what's, what are you going to do today and what's, what's tomorrow? Uh, today we're gonna, they're actually creating a movie about Kecksburg. It's called Kecksburg. Uh, it's a movie on the, the UFO that landed. It's a, uh, like a fictional documentary thing on it. And uh, we're trying to promote a little bit of that to help support our sales. We sell t-shirts. 
Uh, numerous items, cups, you know, different novelty items under Kexburg, so this kind of helps us promote it. Very good. Any my newest one of the churches and cemeteries. Yeah, I want to go there. My name's Stan Gordon, Greensburg, Pennsylvania. Uh, Stan, uh, tell me what, who you are and some of the things that you're here for. Well, I'm Stan Gordon. I've been investigating UFO sightings, Bigfoot and other phenomena here in Pennsylvania for 60 years this year. But I'm also the uh, principal investigator of the Kexburg UFO incident, and I started investigating the case when I was 16 years old in 1965, interviewed hundreds of people who were involved that night here in this community. So we had people who saw the object in the sky, on the ground. We interviewed volunteer firemen, police officers, reporters who were on the scene that night, and many of them either saw or had some interaction with the military who came in the area that night. And according to many accounts, the object that fell down on the water ravine was taken out early the next morning on a large military flatbed tractor trailer and was taken to Lockport Air Force Base near Columbus, Ohio, stayed there for a short time, then went on to Wright Patterson Air Force Base in Ohio. Uh, this is a pretty big thing when it comes to sci fi, am I right? Well, people, there's such thing as sci fi and there's such thing as very interesting, very unusual incidents that keep going on. And there have been many people here today who have come up to us and talk about even recent sightings of UFOs and Bigfoot. I can tell you, all last year and continuing right through the last few weeks, all through Western PA, we're getting many, many reports of UFO sightings, Bigfoot sightings, a lot of very strange things that a lot of credible people are reporting. What is your website? My website is stangordon.info. Stangordon.info. Okay. Good. All right. Anything else? We